the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 327 1 Corinthians 1-4 Your bodies are the temples of Christ. Paul, who heard about the division within the Corinthian church, exhorted them to become united with one another in the wisdom of God and the power of the cross. First point, 1 and 2 Corinthians were Paul's letters written during his third missionary journey. During the time Paul spent in Ephesus, he wrote to the Corinthian church members in order to persuade them to have the attitude of service. This was coming from Paul the minister. The context in which Paul wrote Corinthians was as follows. When Paul was in Ephesus, he heard the news of Corinth. This was that the members of the Corinthian church had divided themselves into followers of Paul, Apollos, Peter, and Jesus, and they were fighting among them. Thus, Paul wrote Corinthians in order to address the divisions within the church and also regarding the attitude they were to have as Christians. At the time, the circumstances at the city Corinth and the Corinthian church were as follows. The city of Corinth was the capital of Greece, but at the time, Greece was under the rule of the Roman Empire. During that time, the population of Corinth was approximately 600,000, but this was divided into 200,000 civilians and 400,000 slaves. Corinth was a special place for maritime trade, and it was a port. Being located near the sea, this meant that Corinth was exposed to many new incoming religions. Amid such circumstances, the Corinthian church was set up by Paul during Paul's second missionary journey. Paul stayed in Corinth for a year and a half in order to establish this church. Paul was assisted by Priscilla and Aquila. Once Paul left Corinth to spread the gospel further, Apollos came to minister. Whilst residing in Corinth, Paul wrote 1 and 2 Thessalonians. Second point, Corinthians church divided themselves into those in favor of Paul, Apollos, Peter, and Christ. As Paul started the letter to the Corinthians, he firstly greeted the church members in Christ. After greeting them, Paul thanked them for their eloquent speech and thanked God for giving them wisdom. Paul also thanked them for expanding their faith and also for their abundant abilities. He also thanked God for their relationship with them. After his greeting and thanking them, Paul went into the main text of his letter, which concerned their internal division and conflict. The first part was about their division. The second was about their quarreling. The third was about baptism. Regarding these problems, Paul gave the following solutions. He firstly taught them about the power of the cross. He secondly taught them that the only thing they had to collectively boast about was Jesus. Paul advised them to realize the power and strength of Jesus' cross and boast only of this, and nothing else. Here, Paul referenced the words of Jeremiah in the Old Testament. Third point, Paul confessed that when he preached the gospel in Corinth, he did not deliver human words or wisdom, but only the cross of Jesus Christ. Paul pointed out the problems in the Corinthian church and then provided them with solutions. In Athens, Paul had made up his mind 
that he would not speak of his other knowledge and only deliver the message of Jesus' cross. Thus, Paul had only delivered Jesus' cross to the Corinthian church. Paul then confessed the difficulties he experienced during his two missionary journeys, and especially whilst in Corinth, and how he was able to overcome them through the courage and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Paul was therefore able to teach the Corinthians about the wisdom of God. Here Paul referenced the words of Isaiah. To the Corinthians church, Paul taught that those who received the salvation, received the Holy Spirit and with the Holy Spirit, they would be able to distinguish the will of God. Here Paul again referenced Isaiah. First point. Paul taught that in the moment of Jesus' cross, our bodies became the temple of Christ. As Paul wrote the letter to the Corinthians, he was able to tell that their faith had not yet matured. Paul wrote that he and Apollos were missionaries who served God and who were voluntarily God's servants. Thus, Paul was the one who planted the Corinthian church. Apollos was the one who watered them, but it was only God who enabled them to grow. To them, Paul declared that their bodies were the temple of Christ. When Jesus proclaimed, It is finished on the cross, the curtains of the Jerusalem temple lifted, and at the moment, our bodies became the temple of Christ. After this, Paul wrote about the foolishness of the world. Here, Paul was referencing the words of Job's friend Eliphaz. Thus, Paul taught them not to judge the world through earthly wisdom, but through the knowledge of Jesus. Fifth point, in order to help the Corinthian church, Paul wrote letters and made Timothy deliver them. Paul taught the Corinthian church not to judge. He told them to regard the evangelists as those interested with God's secrets. What God requires from them is loyalty. Thus, human judgment is not important. The most important thing is God's final judgment. Paul continued to teach them not to be arrogant. They want to get rid of their arrogance and learn to be humble. Paul added that he was not able to immediately go to Corinth, but he sent to them Timothy, who would come and help them. The first letter Paul sent to Corinthians most likely arrived in Corinth before Timothy. At the time, Timothy was on his way to Corinth from Macedonia. Paul did not want the Corinthian church to misunderstand, so he added that God's works were done not by word but by faith and power. Lastly, if they were to continue quarreling, Paul would punish them like a father. But if they repented, he would go to them with a loving heart. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will 
feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.